And the thing to start with is this little tiny habit. In the book, there are all these tiny habits. Yeah, yeah. What's the smallest thing I can do today that'll make the biggest difference? And it's just ask yourself this question, three seconds. Whenever you're going to do something, so whenever I'm gonna drink this water, is it good for my brain or bad for it? I love that. And if I can answer that with information and love, I love myself, I love my wife, I love my children, I love my nieces, I love my mission, I love where I work. If you can answer it with information and love, you start doing the right things. Yeah, and I've said this a lot to, to my audience actually in my, in my private coaching group. I've not said it so much here on the podcast, but what you're saying is so true that when you ask yourself that question, you know, is this good for my brain or bad for my brain? You know, am I acting in a way that I love myself or am I showing myself that I don't love myself? You can only answer that question authentically if you know the research. Otherwise, it's really hard to convince yourself that you're doing the right thing or the wrong thing. So when I'm having this conversation with you, now I know the next time I try and do any of these things that are bad for me, I've got your voice in my head asking me this question. I've got your voice walking me through which are the steps that I'm making mistakes on. And that's why anyone who's listening to this podcast right now, or if you listen to Do uh, Dr. Daniel Amen's podcast, you're now in a better place to make better decisions all the time than if you listen to a podcast once a year or read a page of this book, but don't really dive into it. You're missing out on your mind actually being able to help you. So one of the things I love that you talk about is ants, right? Automatic negative thoughts. And you talk about how sometimes our thoughts can lie to us. Walk, walk us through that. So I never knew this yeah. until my psychiatric training. It just blows me away yeah. that every time you have a thought, your brain releases chemicals. Mm. Every single time you have a thought, whenever you have an angry thought, a hopeless thought, a helpless thought, a mean thought, your brain releases chemicals mm. that actually change your body. And it happens immediately. Your hands get colder. They get wetter. Your breathing changes. Your heart rate changes your blood flow to your brain drops. I actually did a study on um, negative thinking patterns in the brain. But the opposite is also true. Whenever you have a happy thought, a hopeful thought, a loving thought, a purposeful thought, your brain releases a completely different set of chemicals that help relax your body. Thoughts are automatic. They just happen. They're based on complex chemical reactions and things from the past, and maybe not even your past. It could be your parents' past or your grandparents' past. Um, and they lie. They lie a lot. Just because you have a thought has nothing to do with whether or not it's true. And one day after a really hard day at work, I saw four suicidal patients, two couples who hated each other and two teenagers who'd run away from home. And I went home and I was tired and I came home to an ant infestation in my kitchen. They were everywhere. And as I'm wiping them up, I'm thinking to myself, ants, automatic negative thoughts. My patients are infested. And so I came the next day to work with a can of Raid, of ant spray. And then I'm like, okay, that's not good. So later I replaced that with an anteater puppet and an ant puppet. And that concept is just so helpful. You don't have to believe every stupid thing you think. And so here's the tiny habit. Whenever you feel sad or mad or nervous or out of control, write down what you're thinking and just ask yourself if it's true my friend byron katie i don't know if you've had her on the podcast i haven't but i know she is she's, yeah, she's wonderful awesome. her books are incredible I, I love her yeah um she just teaches you to ask these five simple questions you know you had a bad thought write it down my wife never listens to me and then just these five questions is it true yes you know if you're mad yeah. is it absolutely true second question no, she listens to me all the time. She's listened to all 14 of my public television scripts, like multiple times. Um, the third question is really interesting. How do you feel when you believe the thought? I feel sad. I feel disconnected. I'm sort of angry. I'll give myself permission to be rude to her. <laughs> That's not a good idea. The fourth question is how would you feel without the thought? Like a good husband. And then you take the original thought and turn it to the opposite. My wife does listen to me. And just see if you can find one or two examples. Mm. But those five questions dramatically change the people I serve.